10.3, we're going to look at returning objects as values. And we're going to use the rectangle here. Now I don't need to type uh, the import because I've already imported right here uh, everything in AWT. This is Abstract Window Toolkit. So I've already got rectangles here, no problem. And what we're going to do is find the center of a rectangle. But before we do that, let's draw a rectangle on the screen. So for that's fine. That can all be right there. Uh, so we're going to do g dot draw. So all these have a uh, draw in them. We're going to go draw rect, and it's going to take an uh, int and int x and a y. So let's do uh, fifty comma fifty comma width one hundred height. 70. All right. So there's our rectangle. All right, fantastic. But what we want to do is make a rectangle somewhere. Here we go. Make a rectangle like this. Uh, let's give it these initial values. 50, 50, 100, 200 is fine. All right, wouldn't it be nice to be able to just draw a box? All right, of course, we don't have that method, but we will. We're going to create method. Create method. There we go. Uh, don't change method. I, I, the other two are just fine. I don't want to change those. I want to create this method. OK, now it's going to automatically throw a new exception. We don't want that. Uh, up here. Oh, looks like I deleted what I wanted. Cool. Hey, no worries. So it's g dot draw correct. At least I thought it was. That's where I typed that. Okay. We need an x, a y, width, and a height. But box has all these for us. So we're going to type box dot. Oh, look at that. The four I need are right there at the top. There's plenty of other things box does down here. Uh, but let's just go with the uh, x, comma, box dot. I'm pushing down and tab. Box dot. It goes width first and hopefully in height second. You don't need to call this box control R to rename. I'll just call it uh, little r. Shorten it up a little bit. So now we can draw a rectangle. We're going to draw that box. There's our box. All right, fantastic. OK, so now we're ready for this method. So this is going to uh, return a point. It's called find center. and calculating the x and the y values of what the center would be. Uh, so you're going to take half the width, add it to x, half the height, add it to the y, and then return a new point with those x, y values. All right, so we have our find center method. So we're going to draw the box, and then point center equals find center of the box. Uh, and then let's just sout the center just to uh, see this thing right here. Now that sout, that the print doesn't appear on the drawing panel. It appears down here on the left, 100 and 150 are the x, y coordinates. Uh, does that make sense? Well, here's the original x coordinate was 50. The width is 100. So add half of that 50 to 50, you get the 100 right there. Now the y coordinate was 50. The height's 200. So add half of the height, which is 100, to the 50. And that's where the 150 comes from. All right. Looks like that works right there. And then we're going to draw the center. And 
Oop, I can't run that. I got to close my graphics window and then run it. There you go. So the center is drawn right in there. Uh, the reason it may look a little off center if you're being super picky is technically the upper left corner is the corner that uh, that you draw at for circles. So the fact that our dots are not just one comma one that would that would put it in the center center, but of course now the dots are too small to even really see. Uh, so I'm going to put it back to six six and take that. Uh, shift it three to the left, and now that should be perfectly in the center because I shifted a little left and a little up. So that should be right in the center of this uh, rectangle right here.